Well, Bernard, what a lovely bit of hanky, mate. Absolutely delighted, Al. What we'll talk about pressure off. Well, there was no pressure to start with, mate. Quite. But it, 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 that is a chunky one, isn't it? I reckon. I reckon he's. 22s? Yeah, give yeah. Give me 23 for that, Al. And uh, what I'll give you is that's going to turn into a monster in oh, it. Oh, yeah, like. look at the, the width of it, the shoulders, the depth. Now, let's See talk that. about the situation because you were sat in a swim. Mm. It was actually the one that I started in. Yep. Um, you decided to persevere in that area. But having now fished sort of a commercial fishery like this mm. a couple of times, mm. have you noticed what I've always thought that? Angling pressure dictates where the fish go. For sure. I mean, you, you only have to look at where these fish have turned up today, Al. And they've vacated the area in front of me. There's nothing there, mate, now. I'm sure of that. And uh, we've spoken about it. And I'm going to have to move. But before I did, I found some fish in these bushes because they've just, they've just come over here. They find it comfortable under there. It's safe. There are no lines. Um, couldn't resist, mate. Five minutes, mate, I reckon. I counted yeah. possibly less. From where you lowered your rig in <laughs> yeah. to when we saw you bent into a car. Yeah, you fizzed not, off. was not even five minutes. And no. it just goes to show that 24 hours in the wrong place is not a good thing when you can spend half an hour in the right place and, and bend, you know, be bent into fish whilst you're resting your swim at the same time. Do you know what, mate? The worst thing is I love this kind of fishing as well. This is a bit of me. So yeah. why I didn't do it sooner, I just don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the motto of this story is on these commercial fisheries, if there is the opportunity, you're not going to interfere with other people's fishing. You can rest your swim, taking the lines out, and you can come and find a little pocket of feeding fish, just like this little perler. Then you're going to have two advantages to your session. You're resting your swim, and you're catching carp, just like that.